Hey so guys, it's Prenda here and welcome to my special video about Minecon and also um, a giveaway video. This is up for grabs. It is a copy of Minecraft which I got at Minecon. Obviously I don't need it but I'll talk a bit about more about that later on. But first of all I'm going to let you know what I did this weekend at Minecon and pretty much how I enjoyed it. So most of you know I was at Minecon this weekend, right? Um, I left on the Friday morning. I got up at 5am um, and then we got a lift to the airport. Uh, I got there about... I think about six o'clock ish, and then our flight was at seven fifty, seven fifty, yeah, seven fifty five. So, um, we got to Paris around ten thirty Paris time, and then got the bus into the centre of Paris, which was pretty cool. We stuck around there for a few hours, went to the Art de Triomphe and stuff like that. And um, Jake and Robert got a few pictures, um, which was pretty cool. And then about one o'clock, we got the tube into well, the tube to Disneyland, and um, where we met Pierre because he was already there. Guy and Paul were arriving later on, so uh, me, Jake, Bob, and Pierre just hung out for a bit, went up to the hotel, hotel room, packed, uh, unpacked some stuff, um, and got some food, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then later on, Pierre went to get uh, Guy, and so we just hung out in the hotel room, uh, went to the bar, had a few drinks, um, and that was pretty much Friday night over with. So that was Friday. And then on this Saturday, we got up quite early, we got up about, about 7 o'clock. I uh, went and got breakfast, got ready, I put my kilt on again because I had that, I wore that on Friday and Saturday um, and then we went and queued up, well me, Jake and uh, Robert went and queued up for the entrance to Minecon. We were quite near the front um, and then Pierre and Paul and Guy were quite a bit behind us so uh, we hooked up with them inside uh, Minecon. That day the most highlighted panel that I probably went to was the Xbox Live Arcade Edition, uh, meet the team, um, the Minecraft team that developed that. Which was obviously two guys from Microsoft, um, a guy from Mojang, and the guys from 4G Studios. Um, it was pretty cool because the guy at 4G Studios is based in Dundee, which I've prefer, I'm sure I've said a few times is like 10 miles up the road. Um, so they're Scottish guys and they're pretty down to earth. So I asked a question which they loved. Um, I'll have a link to that um, after all. It'll be in this video, but it'll be a bit later on. So you'll see the question I asked, which is pretty cool. So then on Saturday night, we had the access to Disneyland. So it was basically any ride you want to go on it was free so I think we went on a hotel like a haunted hotel tower which Pierre and Paul pussied out on um, I think they like were there for about an hour and they, le they left and um, we went on Crush Coaster um, and the Aerosmith one which I'm pretty impressed with Guy because he's scared of heights he's scared of roller coasters and all that shit and he did come on the hotel one only once he didn't come on the second time he came on the Crush Coaster with us didn't come on RC car but he nearly came on the Aerosmith ride, and now we, we tricked him a bit to say, oh no, it's fine, it doesn't loop to loop, it doesn't go fast, and it doesn't go upside down, and he was like, yeah, okay, I'll come on it, so we're in the queue, and then we saw the people take off, he's like, oh shit, because it went, it takes off really fast, he's like, I'm not going on it, I was like, yes, you are, it's fine, he's like, fine, fine, okay, I'll go on it, um, and that was fine, until the guy behind us told him that it went upside down. And I was like, shit. So basically, he climbed on and went straight off to the other side and said to people, I'm not going on it. So I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. So that was a bit of a disappointment, but other than that, I'm impressed with his efforts um, for that. So after we finished at Disneyland as well, I think it was like 12 o'clock we or half 11 we went back, uh, met with Pierre and went to the New York bar and then got another few drinks. So as we were leaving the bar about 1 o'clock, um, Pierre went out for a cigarette and obviously we weren't staying in the New York hotel. Um, so me, Jake and Bob went outside with Pierre and just hung about with him while he had a fag. Um, and we met these three Scottish guys, uh, Jordan, Connor, and Sherry, which they're pretty cool guys. Um, and basically, we hung out with them until three in the morning, I think, because they went to the gas station to get stuff. We and got food, and basically just had a laugh because, like, for the whole Saturday and basically half of uh, Friday, me, Jake, and Bob all felt as if we had to sort of slow down the way we were speaking, sort of put on an accent so that people could understand us. Um, and it was pretty cool that we could just be down to earth, use slang, speak as fast as we want, and like those guys understood us, which was pretty cool. So that was Saturday over and done with. So on the Sunday, we woke up a bit later. I think we got up about 8 o'clock, and then we went and got breakfast again, and headed to the convention. Um, the main panels that we went to see that day, we went to see the um, Taking Over YouTube with featuring Captain Sparkles, and then I've uploaded the backs up we did, which is pretty cool. And then we also were at the closing ceremony. And at the closing ceremony, me and one of the Scottish guys we met, Jordan, decided to basically troll the camera, sort of like we were doing stuff like seeing you and uh, stuff like that, and being Reem, um, which I've got footage of, so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, that was pretty cool, just taking the piss, essentially. And yeah, it was good. After that, we went and got food, and then we got ready for the party, which I'll talk about in a sec. 
So for the after party, you had to have one of these, which I'll show you just now. That um, is the ex like basically your ticket, I, um, I suppose. Um, so you had to give your ID to get one of them, and it was a track, Birdie Nam Nam and Skrillex, which were playing in sort of, I think it was like an abandoned old dockyard that was done up and something like that. But it was a really good time. Drinks were really expensive, but I was at the front for a track, Birdie Nam Nam and Skrillex, and. It was fucking insane. Like Skrillex, I've seen Skrillex at Tea in the Park this year, and he was much better th um, when I seen him. I think I don't know if it was the fact that it was at the front, it was the atmosphere, but it was absolutely insane. And um, I think <laughs> we were up until half five in the morning. Didn't get back till till half five in the morning. Sorry. And my our well, mine, Jake's, and Bob's bus to the airport was at like quarter past six, so we got no sleep. Um, <laughs> got the um, bus to the uh, airport. Hung around the airport for ages, had to get the flight, which wasn't until 2 o'clock, and basically we were essentially up for like 40 hours, which was ridiculous. Um, but no, it was a good weekend. Um, I've got another wristband to add to the collection now, which is, you can probably see, it's the Minecon. Wait a sec, it's the Minecon one here. Um, I will be taking this one off and putting it on my wall, which is the party one I just showed you a second ago. Um, I'll be keeping that, um, so that's pretty cool. We did get goodie bag when we were at Minecon, which is where I got this, which is the account. I'll talk about that again in another second. Um, but what we did get was a cape. You can try and screen grab that code if you want. I've already used it, so it's going to be useless. Um, we got a mine, something about mine book, which I don't know. Um, that's my ID badge that I had when I was there. Um, it just says attendee on the bottom, and yeah, I had to wear that all the time. Um, something about that, where the fuck that is, something about a uh, PvP server, put your Minecraft skin on a real toy or something, um, something about 50% off the server, and obviously, if I can unhook this, because it's hooked on my desk somehow, uh, the Minecon mine on bag, so yeah, that was in the goodie, that's the goodie bag, um, right, this is what was in the goodie bag, this is a Minecraft gift code, um, if you want to win this, then I will put up a video on how to do it if this video receives 30 likes. That's the way I'm going to do it. Um, call me a whore or a money grabber or whatever. You know I hardly make anything off YouTube so it's not really pointless. But when this video reaches 30 likes I will put out a video letting you guys know how you can win a copy of this which is a Minecraft account. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm going to put all the videos I talked about um, on after this and just a little slideshow with some Sizzlebird on it. Just um, to show you about my weekend and I might have the vlogs that I did record but did not load. So guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like so you can win, um, well, so you'll know how to win a copy of this. I've been the Prentai and peace out guys. that we have a community like this. I do not think there's... Is there any plan to like edit the scan animation of the kilt skin to look more like a kilt when it walks rather than trousers because it's a bit annoying? <laughs> Where'd I kill myself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Um, seriously though, the, the legs on the character don't have joints in them. So they either move or they don't. So you'd have to have a full length kilt on. So um, I like the idea, but uh, it would mean Daniel changing the character to add joints to them. Just yeah, for right. Scotsmen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the sound of that idea. Very good. 